Hello guys, ladies, and today's video, I'm going to be like, uh, show you what my eBay callovers did to me. Like, I was in the middle of the freak on freeway belt, and when, it's like, when you hit, uh, like, uh, when, when you drop on a pothole, you didn't see the pothole, the car just dropped, blow, and that's exactly what happened to my front left, um, callovers that, uh, that shit just dropped. I'm about let me show you guys that. Fun of it right here. That shit just came out. And there it is. Damn. I just dropped, bro. I was in the middle of freeway. And I hear a blow. And that shit just dropped. The other one's fine, so I just don't trust it at all. Since that one dried, I'm just gonna take all of them out and I'm just probably, I'm just gonna use the spring and put it in my stock one. That's what I was, I was supposed to just buy it like low and spring and have these cheap clovers. Hey, you could can see that? This is what happened. This is how it's supposed to look. And this is what happened. This is the drop. And as you could see, what is the, what is the, and came out the hood right here. You see? Came out the hood. Almost fucked up my hood. So yeah, that's what we're gonna fix today. First, I'm gonna go in my backyard and take the spring out of the, my stock on. So yeah, that should be fun. Alright you guys, so um for the week holdovers, uh for the stock holdover, I haven't take out the spring yet because I think if I do it inside of this, it will be easier for me. So I'm just gonna take this, this one out, and I'm just gonna take, yes, yeah, this cool over. Out. Oh my God, would you look at that? Damn, it's just no good. But uh, but I'll take the spring though. I'll take the spring and the cool over. I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell it or something. But I gotta do somewhere. So yeah, um. I'm gonna do that, so, um, yeah, let's do it. I'm not gonna show you the power I'm taking off the spring because if you guys, like, want to know, I'll leave a link down below. Like, there's a guy, like, he showed you how to do it, so I'll leave a link down below for that. So, right now, let's just get down to business and take this thing out. I just, damn, my car be working. And, yeah, these... So yeah, um, let's take this out. And yeah, don't worry about this. I have bush coming up soon for it. Oh my God. This thing needs a lot of work. All right, so let, let's finish up with it. There it is. This is a eBay cool low. I look at see, this is just worth a point. Damn. This probably used, used to be right here. This, oh boy. You see how worse do you get over time? Like, oh god. So this is super not good. So I'm just gonna use this, this spring. So I could go low. So um, I'm just gonna take a hammer. Yeah, and take this bar. And take this bad boy out. And we, we should be good putting in a new one. I'm, I am gonna keep this though. This is like a, a supporter for it. So yeah. Um, Let's move and put the stock one back in and unbolt it from over there. Um, So the way I said I was going to do it, I was going to put it in this and unloose the head of it. So hopefully I'm just gonna have something hold the brake line right here. She let me do it right now. Just in case if this if this does I kinda Yeah, there you go. Let me angle it so it doesn't hit my brake line. When this does go oh actually I could just pass the brake line behind it. Like so like so and have the brake line right here. And yep, let's do it for the other side. Yep, 
yeah, just like that. So I have my book line secure. And now we could unloose away, boys. Oh, God. This might go sideways, so we don't know. It's just, this is, this is the dropping position. Kaboom! So, yeah, um, I'll update you guys. So, yeah, it worked. It made a big sound. Bow! You know, bow! And the boat, as you could see, only the top of it was on top. Why not? Everything lined up, bro. <laughs> so, um, the boat that was kind of in this, I don't know, kind of got inside of, uh, I don't know, dropped inside of the engine or something because of the of the spark, you could say. So, yeah, that's the easy way and the safe way, too, because everything to drop right here, your brake line is safe. This is where you hit. So, yeah, you're good right now. Just got to take, pull this out and put the put this shit in yeah so let's do it so there it is I put the, the coal over in this one was kind of dirty I, I cleaned it and the top bushing I replaced it with the speed motorized one yeah uh, now nah, I got a little bit of play so I, I need to fix that so I still need to screw this down a little bit so yeah um other than that don't worry about that when the car when you see on the car it loads by itself it'll take its shape and all that so yeah um let's finish this up so uh one thing i realized a mistake i made was this part was i put on the bottom but but it's it's not you're supposed to put that part the part that's open on the bottom so you could um line up with this thing this shop right here so it could go down when it presses when it's presses hold on let me fix that it's supposed to look like that when this press when this press down this goes right here and the rest is on it and there's a seat on the shop I'm not, I'm not sure but this nice thing right there so yeah let's put this thing on the other side is the same thing so yeah I will show you guys the guy on the ground and let's see how low we get from that to this I mean not really this but this thing but whatever this cheap ass shit but yeah let's finish this up man so I got this side done better looking and when I'm going to do this side and I'll show you guys how I got the spring out so I'll have a camera right here and let's see let's see okay i'll have the camera right here you guys are gonna see which that's there you go and from the bottom um Nah, I don't have two cameras, so you guys going to do, just use one. Okay. And this is how I do it. 
that sound pound that's the same sound it made when I took it out oh, shoot. let me show you guys down here that this is, uh, this is what happened so to me this is totally safe so nothing happened I'm still here so yeah and now let's finish this up so um as you guys saw uh, this side was usually longer than usual be it's because this washer goes inside and kind of push it down i forgot to pull it but i put it in this one as you can see this one is normal so i'm just gonna put it in this one and as you can see guys super duper low oh man flexing so yeah um so yeah thank you guys for watching now see you later and don't forget don't buy eBay coolovers. Them shit is all trash. Later.